Hey everybody and welcome to Build a Data Analysis Library from Scratch in Python. In this video we will be importing Pandas Cub. In the last video we inspected the data frame or excuse me the dungarynit.py file which contained the data frame class. In this video we're going to see how to actually import our own library uh, into a workspace so that we can actually use it. So it's great that we have this file uh, open and ready to be edited, but I want to show you guys how to actually, um, how the import statement works and how to utilize uh, what's, what the code that you've been written, that's been written in here. How do I uh, get access to this data frame? So I want to explain the machinery behind that. So we can do this in a Jupyter notebook, but I find that it is easier to keep everything in one, uh, in plain view, in, in, in just VS Code. So I'm going to use the IPython shell uh, to do this, and we'll see it again in the notebook in the next video, but for now I'll just use the shell to make things a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and run IPython. Notice I'm already, I'm, I'm just, I'm running it right here inside this pandas cub master. So I'm at the same level as data images, pandas cub, and so forth. Okay. So I've, uh, I've opened up the uh, IPython shell, and we can verify that, our exit, that we are actually in uh, pan, the pandas cub environment, like we did in a previous video, and you can see that we are indeed uh, you know, operated with, operating within the pandas cub environment. So that looks good. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import in pandas cub. Okay, so that worked. That completed. There were no errors. So I want to explain, I want to go into the details of this statement. I want to explain what's happening when we write import pandas cub. So Python has a strict set of rules that it follows whenever you write an import statement. And what it does is it searches, it has a specific uh, there's a, a specific sequence of file uh, of directories that it looks into to find Python libraries. So this is called, uh, these directories are stored in this path variable from the sys module. So if you look at this module or this variable path, you'll see that it's, it's a, it is a Python list and it has a list of directories that Python will look through one by one in order until it finds the library that you've imported. Now, if it does not find the library, then it will raise an import error. So it goes through one by one, and then it actually gets to this interesting um, directory, which is just an empty string, but that represents the current working directory. So, and that's exactly where pandas cub is located. And you can actually output the current working directory with pwd. This is an IPython command. This is not a Python code. So it just outputs our current working directory. So we're inside pandas cub. You can even use ls to list out the contents of the current working directory, just like it's a normal shell command. So you can see here that uh, indeed pandas cub has been found. Now, you might be thinking, how can you import a directory? And the answer is you can. Uh, Python allows that, but if there is a dundery nit.py file, it will import that instead. So it doesn't quite make sense just to uh, import a directory. Um, you know, it's not a file, there are no contents, but if there's a dundery nit.py file, it will, um, it will import that and that is exactly what PDC is referencing. It is this particular init, dunderinit.py file. So I'll just, uh, I'll just write this here again. Um, <clears throat> this doesn't actually do anything. I just wanted to write it just so it appears on the screen again. So now PDC is referencing the contents of this file. This is exactly what we've imported in. So all of these names in here are available to us with PDC. So for instance, I can get, uh, we'll skip over NumPy's 
That's not as interesting. I can get the version like this. So it's actually just imported this in here. So every definition, everything that has an equal sign over here has been imported in and is accessible with PDC. So data frame has also been defined. So I can get that. I won't instantiate the data frame. I can just go ahead and reference it and so forth. And there's a one function down below and, an, and actually another class that's defined. We'll get there later. But that is exactly what happens whenever you run the import statement. And we'll see that uh, in the notebook again. But I wanted to cover this specifically so you understood what happened and then the rules about importing in a directory. And this is a special file name. So if it's just called, if it's not dundery nit.py, it will not get loaded in. You have to name it dunderynit.py in order for it to be uh, loaded in when you actually import the directory name. So that is just some special rules that Python has created for imports. All right, so that wraps up this one. Hope you uh, enjoyed it.